Hi again, Mike Bernays here. Going to uh, talk to you now about what's new in Cognos Express 10.2. Again, uh, throughout the presentation, you can type in your questions uh, in the in the Go to Meeting box. Uh, we will gather them and answer them uh, the best we can at the end of the presentation. Uh, if if you do not want to do that and you just want to contact me directly, I'm more than happy to answer them that way as well. Uh, you'll see the email address on the screen. Please feel free to email me anytime. So in this uh, presentation, we're going to cover a few different things. I'm going to first talk about what is Cognos Express. Some of you may have never heard of it. Some of you may, and you're just not sure what it is. And some of you actually might be using it. So we're going to just do a quick refresher on what Ex the Express product is. We're going to talk about the uh, key update areas in this product. and. They're going to be similar to uh, the 10.2.1 presentation um, with some, some additional stuff. Uh, visual enhancements, again, we're going to talk, go through the RAVE engine and the visualizations for active reports. Uh, mobile uh, has some upgrades. Uh, there's actually now scorecarding in Express, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. Uh, then go through some additional enhancements and improvements. And the last item is uh, a licensing structure on Express that makes a whole lot more sense. It was a little complex before, and, and they've simplified it to, uh, to make it a little bit easier. So what's Cognos Express? So back in 2009, uh, it was released as a uh, mid to small market end-to-end -end solution that featured reporting, analysis, and planning. So it really was Cognos BI and TM1 wrapped up in its own little package. Okay, it was, it, it was easy to use. It had some backup and restore capabilities built in. Um, it provided some light, lightweight uh, modeling. It had an embedded content store. There was some integrated security, which was, which is different than the enterprise uh, solution. Uh, it had a very easy administration pan, uh, panel, and it had a lot of auto configuration. So it was somewhat out of the box, could be installed pretty easily. Um, the main differences between Express and Enterprise are the number of users available. It's limited to 100, uh, the server size, and the uh, conformance. Um, and then some of the capabilities are a little bit different. Some things are included, some are not, uh, from Enterprise to Express. So this slide here will give you a layout of what Cognos Express really is. So you can see at the bottom, there are a couple different modeling tools. Framework Manager and Performance Modeler. Performance Modeler is on the TM1 side. Framework Manager would be on the BI side. Um, then it goes up through the Cognos Express server. And then you get into, it has a, a few main areas. There's Reporter, which includes Query Studio and Report Studio, uh, and Business Insight Advance. I believe now it's actually going to be titled uh, Workspace Advanced. There's Advisor, which is uh, Cognos Insight or Advisor Web. There's Perspective, which is the Microsoft Excel client for TM1. And then there's Planner, which would be the contributor piece of TM1. Okay, so it's uh, basically it's an all-in-one solution that featured all of the enterprise products kind of rolled into one for a small, small mid-market solution. So just go through kind of the user roles and the workflow and, and the associated UIs kind of with Express. Um, so the executive level, uh, actually, let's start at the business analyst level. So the business analyst level is going to uh, would use performance modeler or um, and, you know framework manager. Um, you can build the underlying model. Okay. Um, it, it can roll up into Insight. It can go up to a dashboard. Uh, you, can, you know you can use the Insight workspace uh, area, the TM1 web, to to follow up or take actions, do data analysis. Okay, the executive level is going to define the strategy, which is going to roll down to the manager or the analyst. So it, it gives you just a, an idea of how the flow works um, with Express and with the different user roles. So one of the first key update areas uh, are visualizations. If you were on the 10.2.1 uh, presentation a couple hours ago, uh, we spent some considerable time talking about that. If you're new and just joined us for this one, um, visualizations um, are, are really enhance the user experience through Active Reports or through Report Studio in providing really neat uh, charts and graphs that 
that are real pretty easy to use and that provide you know a lot of insight and a lot of color to a presentation or to a, a to a report. Um, they're utilizing the RAVE engine, which stands for Rapidly Adaptive Visualization Engine. So these are they're interactive. Uh, some are in animated. Uh, right now, there's about 30 of them out on AnalyticZone.com, and if you go out there, you can download them and bring them in to uh, Report Studio. You bring them in through Admin Console. You bring them into Report Studio, and you can utilize them in uh, active reports or, or just a normal report. And uh, what I'll do now is show you a little bit of that. So let's take a look at uh, these cool visualizations. So I've uh, gone out to the analytics zone. And as you can see, I've gone to the communities, I've gone to the marketplace, and there are, uh, as I said, 30 actually visualizations out there for you to download. You can actually download all of them in this one, or you can just go through and pick and choose which ones you may want. As you can see, there are bunches of them. Um, some pretty, pretty neat stuff that you can do. So I've gone ahead and opened up 10.2.1 uh, here. And if you go into the admin console, you will see this new area called library. This is where you actually bring in the visualizations. It's as simple as importing the visualizations, browsing to the location that you downloaded them, and clicking on one, opening it, hitting import. This one will fail or it succeeded. Um, I didn't obviously hadn't downloaded that one. If you downloaded it already, it'll fail. So I've imported it. It's succeeded. It's out there. It's been added. I've added all of these other ones. And now it's ready for use. So now you can actually go into Report Studio, and I'm going to, uh, I've created a few, and I'm going to open them up here and show you what we've got. So I've gone in, and where you find these is in the toolbox. You'll go and see there's a visualization area. You simply grab it and drag it in. Okay, so if I were to do that, it's going to bring up all the different ones that you've added. You click it, you hit OK, and now you'll have that in there. I've uh, gone ahead and added a uh, packed bubble chart in. I've added margin and revenue into it. I've added the product type and the product lines. Okay. And if I go ahead and run it, you'll see that I've everything that I've added has come up, and it's it's a really really pretty neat chart. I'm going to go ahead and open one more, and this one is um, allows you to actually drill down into it a little bit. So as you can see, I've brought in the different uh, uh, products from the sample data. I brought in the year, and if I were to click on, I believe this is personal accessories, it will actually drill down and bring up everything under personal accessories, okay, and show you the different sizes. I believe I'm using revenue here. Um, obviously, I haven't formatted it or added a title or anything. I just did this quick just to show you how they work. You can actually click down more on it, and it'll actually take you all the way down to the product line. Pretty cool. Um, so there's definitely there's there's some really neat things that you can do. Um, definitely something that you should check out. Uh, again, those of you on eight, come on over to ten. Enjoy the cool active reports and all the cool visualizations. So Cognos Mobile saw some some improvements here with the, the new version of Express. Um, there's an app out on out on iTunes that you can download. Um, you can automatically configure figure it uh, by an emailed URL. It gives you faster reports and zooming on active reports. There's some audit logging. Gives you some touch-friendly prompts. Uh, the HTML, HTML excuse me, is uh, up to six times quicker. And there's actually some how-to videos on the mobile app as well. So there's, you know, concentration was definitely put on mobile um, utilizing the active reports and the, and the visualizations. Also available is a uh, performance management mo uh, mobile advance. So the performance management is, there's a TM1 app that is available uh, for contributor, so where you can input 
uh, your information. You can track it, uh, annotate it, submit it. Um, and then there's some interactive visualizations as well with there. So you can actually be mobile and say you wanted to input your budget or whatever it might be. Uh, there is an app for that and it can be downloaded at uh, the iTunes store and, and, and uh, so for those of you on uh, TM1 or even you know using Express, just take a look at that and take advantage of it. So scorecarding, this is a pretty neat feature and it's available in the uh, most recent release of TM1 10.2 uh, um, which has also made it available here to Express. So there is a, a metrics, uh, a TM1 metrics modeling um, that you can actually uh, so you can actually um, sorry about that you can actually um, model scorecarding so you could uh, you know put metrics in and you could scorecard through the TM1 system um, and it actually has some write back and some other things so it's a pretty neat feature that has just been added um, you know you could use metric studio on the enterprise bi side but there really was nothing in tm1 that allowed you to create metrics and now you have some of the scorecarding availability and, and can obviously utilize it in cognos workspace and, and uh, cognos insight so some of the additional uh, enhancements so there is a uh, tm1 run ti so there's a command line interface tool that can initiate a turbo integrator process from within any application uh, capable of issuing operating system commands so you could create a um, you know a command prompt you could create a little bat file that would kick off a team uh, turbo integrator process uh, there's dqa which provides a graphical environment for which users can understand and analyze queries for further tuning and optimization there's a, an operations console, so that replaces the TM1 top for monitoring and troubleshooting uh, the TM1 system services. And there's also now full support for uh, CDM, which is Cognos Disclosure Management, or SDK, a Software Development Kit, Cognos Controller, or Cognos X, uh, Analyst for Excel. So performance has, has improved greatly. Again, for those of you in the 10.2.1 presentation, uh, we went pretty in-depth on performance. Um, mobile reports are faster. Uh, the opt uh, request optimization is, is pretty impressive. Uh, the response time is really neat. Active reports uses a better interactive uh, internal structure. They use a better memory consumption and better uh, compression, which makes, the, which makes the active reports smaller and use less memory, but a lot, lot quicker. Um, some of the report rendering is quicker. It removed some redundant calls and some unnecessary compression, improved the memory usage. Uh, bursting is, is allowing you to now opti optimize um, a number of different hardware, so you could have a number of servers and burst from each of them. Uh, batch jobs run quicker based on better CPU utilization. Uh, Dynamic query is quicker because there was an improved DMR first run performance and TM1 interactive analysis. And then the IO scalability has been improved because there's a lot less uh, activity on the disk. Licensing is, is certainly something that all of us have struggles with. And they have greatly improved what licensing looks like on Cognos Express. So, this says current state. It, it, this would be current um, you know, up until a month or so ago when this was released. Um, you can see that there's multiple levels with multiple parts to each of those levels. So there is an admin license. Um, there's a Cognos Express connector, which you have to have at least one of those. And then there was some um, Express uh, Accelerator and Planner and Reporter. And then you get there was actually a Cognos Express user and an Express consumer. And then there was... Uh, users down here so there was a number of different layers and levels to to licensing so what IBM has done has cleaned that all up so there's still an administrator license you still need a connector there's still an express user which gives you both pro, uh, uh, performance management or TM1 and BI and then there's an express consumer which just gives you the ability to receive receive con you know, content and actually just consume it you can't really do anything with it but then instead of all these other layers, they've actually just broken it down to a Cognos Express uh, performance management user and a Cognos Express BI user. 
So if you're just going to have, if you have, you know, an environment where you have certain people doing budgeting and planning and certain people doing BI, you can split the licensing that way. If you're just using Express for the BI portion of it and not using TM1, then you can just get the Cognos Express BI users. So it's, it's a lot easier, a lot, certainly to me, it's a lot easier to understand based on, you know, the way this is set up here. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit, trying to figure out licensing and who's going to do what. Um, I'll leave this up here for a minute or so, so you can, you know, if you need to jot anything down or uh, make some notes on it. This one, this one's pretty important. So again, I just want to tell you a little bit about us. Um, we're educators of business analytics. We can sell you things. We can come on site and build you things. We can do, you know, we can do all sorts of things that other partners do. But we, we really pride ourselves on on being educators. We love to teach people. We love to train people. We love to bring self service to to companies and to organizations. Um, we're offering a ton of different uh, webinars and videos and different workshops that. Um, that are even, some of them are even software agnostic. They're, they're not even talking about software. It's more about requirements gathering or executive coaching or things of that nature. Um, of course, we can still sell you software. We can still support you and we can still help you. We, we love doing those things as well. But we really, our goal is really to make, you know, to make this process in the end be self-service for you guys. And, and we love, we love to teach. Um, you can see we're a certified woman-owned business. Heather Coles, our president and uh, owner of the company, and she's responsible as well for the sales uh, people in our organization, Ian and Corey. And then Bethany's on here. She's our services. Uh, she's our services coordinator. She's in charge of all of services. Um, our website has been redone recently, so please, if you haven't had a chance, go take a look at it. Great website, ton of information. Check out our blogs. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blogs. Um, we're, we were charged with writing, you know, pretty much two or three blogs a week to put out there. So there's there's tons of information that you can check out. And at this point in time, we're going to uh, look to the questions and get you answers. <laughs>